Ah! Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay. Hey, yeah, it's Sarah. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. All right. Um, first of all, thank you so much for the positive comments or like positive feedback on my Red Dead Redemption playthrough. I'm having so much fun with it. And thank you guys so much for the tips. Uh, I am taking them to heart. But with that said, let's go on ahead and play some more Red Dead Redemption because I'm excited and oh shit. It left off where we left off. Oh, cool. Because, yeah, I'm excited. I want to see more of John's story. Uh, you guys mentioned that in the last game, this took place four years after the last game. So the finale of the last game. And I kind of believe that. Yeah, so that would make their his son. I forgot his name already. That would make his son like a teenager already. Mmm, interesting, interesting. Oh, also, thank you guys so much for being kind and reminding me very kindly about who Bill is. I remember him vaguely now. I remember him at the standoff for sure. Anyway, let's go on and just play some more Red Dead Redemption. <gasps> okay, no. I'm, I'm still getting used to the Xbox controllers. Please. Oh, I can see why this is why this would be a good game. I can see why this would be a good game in what do you call this? On a computer. Is that Bonnie? Okay, this is the Bonnie one. Ooh. So I can't seem to talk to people here. Wild horses tame passions. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Was that you. her husband? Did you meet my oh, father? Okay. John my Marston, bad, my this bad. is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians, tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. <gasps> really? That's so Sorry sad. To hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. That sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Uh huh. Uh, it's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Yeah, like you guys mentioned that John's just being forced to do all these deeds. Well, we won't insult you any further. <laughs> Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Oh. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
There we You're go. gonna need this, Mr. Oh, Marston. we're finally gonna start breaking in horses. What? Wait, let me just go. See if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret that sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Uh. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. Yeah, there's certain that's things true. in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. <laughs> we love a feminist. I'm kidding. But it's so cute. Not kidding about us liking a feminist, by the way. There they are! Let's get after them! Oh, there you go. Drop one of them for me, Martin! How? Oh, LT. Pull that damn rope, Martin! Oh my gosh. Let's go! Oh, come on! Don't be afraid of that last rope! Wait, I went to one. Oh, oh man, I didn't want that one! That's it! Keep a hold of him now! <laughs> Quick, boy! Start breaking him in! He's ahead of one, alright! God damn it! Have this in no time. Nearly there! Oh Let's my goodness! It, boy. That's it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Take it slow now! Come on, man! Oh, We have to. Should we? You gonna use that rope or not? Let's go. I want the red, white one. Okay, coming to help you. Whoa! Don't let him Mr. Martin. Too much. Lean into it. I got you now. Keep at it, Mr. Martin. Easy Come on, let's go. Stay centered. Okay. Almost got you. Easy. Come How on, many seconds baby. does this take? Well, we got it. Look at that. We'll make a cowboy out of you yet. Yay! All right, well, not Martin. You leave this one to me. Woo. I think that's enough activity for an old timer like me. I take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Let's go! Lasso another wild horse. Okay, fine. What are you waiting for? Come on! That's good! All yours! Hop on and show me the box! Hold on to him! Come on! Come on! Here we go! Whoa! Relax now! I can't see because of oh, the horse! Relax now! Nearly there. Relax now. That's it. You were wild. Yay, we got it. Look at that. Pure and natural. Nice work. I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back to France. Come on. All right, let's go. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. Yeah. It'll <laughs> spirit and make you poor. 
but it's straight and it's decent. There's no better Aww. night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun! I think you could be a fine rancher one day, if you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. There you go. This is so cool. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. Here a and ranch there. in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of chief governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd huh. like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. Oh, he never it's her brother. My paw's a lot frailer than he looked. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. I mean, it is a compliment, I think, because it means... In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. Aww. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. been to the desert, now that I think about it. Wait for my signal, and don't let those horses out of your sight! I'll see you there, miss! Gosh, Whoa. why am I the only one here? Let's go. Come on, go, go, go. I'm messing up. I'm messing up. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm pushing! Come on, come here. on my horse step.
Oh, there we go. Oops. Oh! What the heck? There you go! We got some gold! Oh, there you are. Now you're there. Come on. Hey. Yeah. Let's go. Go over there. Go over there. Go over there. Go over there. Go to back to Bonnie. Oh, I'm guessing I can't. There we go. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know. Why don't you keep that stallion as your own? As a thank you from all of us. Thank you, we got a new horse. He's a fine animal. Horse trader plus six. Come on. Oh. Let's go to. There we 
it go? Maybe let's go to West N Nigel West Deck. Oh, Nigel West Deck. Maybe we should go. Let's try to get some sleep first. you sleep right or not really oh there we go yeah I need to buy stuff on my horse. Oh, what's this purple thing? Touch my horse first. Oh, this guy. Mister. She's gone. Who is? My wife. She's gone. Has she stayed or she, she left you? She went out you? picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got her. The stories are true. Oh. <laughs> what the police do about it? Oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong. But she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh, a man crying for his wife. Go search for the woman by hanging rock. I feel like we have a way. Stay here. <gasps> More blood. Oh wait, this is the same thing. Oh my god, is that an arm? American appetite complete. What did it Come say? On. Chola Springs. Oh, 
Come on. Let's go. <laughs> On the Oh wait, no, that's just a renting place. It seems like it's just a hotel. Yeah. Probably just God, they just killed the horse. That's so sad. Here he is. Oh, okay, we're here. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? <laughs> you look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor, or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Oh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates! I'm coming home! Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. 
Oh, okay. I'm finished. Done for. What? Just oh, wait, he's a sna you? snake oil salesman. The closest doctor is in Armadillo. Draw a weapon on him. You can aim and shoot him the way he's a L. What is your name, friend? John Morston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me! How many outlaws can a man encounter oh, in one day? Must have, have me mistaken with somebody else. Right. The Baller Twins! Walton's gang! I know who you are! Word sure travels fast around here. I'm a man with many connections. Spare my life, I beg of you. They're back! I'm done for! Oh, shit. You're killing me! Just stand on the damn wall! Bro, wait, how do I do this? This is why you don't drive. We're doomed without that horse! See that. Once again, a victim of my own success. Okay. They see a man in a well cut suit, and this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much, and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Oh, I don't believe it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Come back after 8 p.m. Oh, wait. Rental spoons will take some time while you're waiting. Oh, okay. Oh. Increase firepower. Okay, okay. Let's buy some firepower. They're already here. Nice. And I got all the armament. Hello, friend. We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? Oh, we got the gold. Rattlesnake bed next month. Too expensive. I don't really need ammo. Why, thank you. 
If I buy two guns, will it be you know, like planning on building a rail junction up way Cattleman revolver? Oh, okay. Nice doing business. Ah, all right. That'll do me. There we go. Mm, okay. Maybe we should go to buying house. I've never lost a single piece of merchandise. No collado in Come on, stars. Oh, they're my oh my baby. There's already a mission here, we might as well. Spare the rod, spoil the bandit. <laughs> oh, another. Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. What Why, is what's it? What's happening? Tell me. We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. <gasps> women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Did he? <laughs> yeah, he needs that liquid courage. Let me just remove this thing on the map. A man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a many placebo from effect. The, east, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. <laughs> diarrhea of the mouth. I like that. If I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard earned money however they please. Hey, Marshall. That's see true. They can vultures? spend their money however they want. We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Slow down! <gasps> Ain't no survivors here, Marshal! Dude, they even killed the Man, horses. That's crazy. Good. Only a psychopath would, did that, would do that. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Oh, you're acquiring new weapon. Let's go. Damn it! 
Come oh, on, let's take there a look. we go. <gasps> wait. Wait, what was that? There was a kid there. Come on. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Scumbags must still be around. Come oh, on. they burned the body. That's brutal. Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry. Sons of bitch! If you want to run a gang of outlaws, hard. Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? Place looks deserted. Where is everyone? Search the out outhouse and shed for the farmer. Go! Since I'm already here, I'm gonna go check this. No one here! Let's go! Shed's clear, Marshal! Oh, there's blood though. Join Marshall at the barn. There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. <gasps> Come on, John. Shoot that door open. This is a serial killer. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. That's oh my god, that's right, disturbing. Boys, we need to get into that house right now. I guess it's too late to talk about things. How do I? What oh, it's R1. One? I see one of them. For Christ's sake! Be my first time. Stay with me. Ain't you a pretty little thing? Come. You're gonna be all right. Head for the shed it's in the okay. back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. I was confused. I was scared. Jesus, as well. Shed when the coast is clear. Oh. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. unspeakable things on the goddamn law. Clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. My God. Oh my goodness, this is a massacre. Wait, where is he? Oh, he went out. Let me just do everyone. Oh my goodness. You ain't nothing. 
You just a man on a government Look at her eye. Money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives. People's homes. Come on, they're gonna get away. All right, let's find those bastards. Oi, gogo. Wait. Oh my god, my horse really said nope. I don't want any part of this shit. <laughs> John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Bill, what happened Get to you? Get down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. I want to kill him. Speak you for yourself, John. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Oh, shit. Everybody, take cover! In that... Oh, shit! Did I press... Did I skip it by accident? Oh. Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Oh, I didn't even really miss much, it seems. But still, this is a cool scene. Keep together and stay in here. This is the best cover we got. Oh, this is too far off. I guess it's too late to talk about things. Oh shit, they killed the horse! Come on then! Wait for them to come closer. Oh shit, they killed the horse. Buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! <laughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Nice. <gasps> 
Oh, let's do everyone while we're here. People have taken notice of your annual action jobs in the town pay twice as much. <gasps> nice! I like how easy it is to get the gun ammo. I'm sorry. Ah! Come on, let's get this over with. Yo, we could skin horses. Uh! Oh shit! Do I look like food to you? I'm sorry. Okay, I think we're good. Huh? Next mission. Okay, so we have West Dickens, but I kind of want to do a bomb you. Oh, but you know what? West is closer, so I want let's do a West one. Oh, sorry, my horse is tired. Any wild animal can be skinned by approaching the corpse and. Oh, what's wrong here? Come on! Oh! Should I kill the girl too? She did kind of try to trick me. Okay. I got plus five for that. Well, thank you for the free loot. The woman would probably have a lot of good stuff on her. There we go, we're good. Come on. Okay. Oh no. It's gonna ask you to come back at a different time. After 8 p.m. All right, then I guess we could do this first. Apologies, oh, officer. Doing a fine job. You okay, lady? My husband's missing. 
these bastards Wait, won't do anything. Wait, it's the same thing. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. Nor lay with whores. He's been missing for three days. Wow. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Oh, it's so... It's if I the find same him, I'll premise, bring him back but... to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> oh, my God. If he's gone, then what will I do? We ain't got much money. And I'm in the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> We could get some bounty. I want a toaster. I'm sure it's just at the end of town, so let me just go on ahead and get that. Oh, here it is. Hold to view, accept bounty. Oh shit, I didn't view it. The bounty was last seen near Brittlebush Toll. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. First, let's go here first. Don't take all day. There. There she is. Or he is, because it's a stallion. Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. Oh. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just what now. What a time to uh, be alive. Right Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> oh, he's the crazy guy. I think he's the crazy guy. Why won't you people just leave me alone? I'm going back to the injured man. I'm gonna eat you alive. Hog tie, there we go. Don't take me back to that man! Carry victim. There we go. Oh, I think the guy who broke his leg is really the crazy one. This is a nightmare! Wow, John's pretty strong. Please, I'll do anything. 
Or maybe it's really this guy because he's not really defending himself. Careful with that fella! Oh my good oh. lord! Please get that man away from me! Uh, uh. Hey fella! <laughs> you broke this oh, no. poor fool's oh. leg, mister! Uh, this maniac tried to eat me! We got cannibals in these here hills! Please help me! What? Please. Fella's gotta eat now. Fella's got to eat. Ah! <laughs> Save me from this freak, please! Please! <laughs> He's a crazy guy. Um, cut free. Just stay calm. Ooh, crazy guy. He was the, I knew it. He was a cannibal. Let's do him. Ooh, $25. Nice. Yeah. All right, I guess let's go back to West now. Sorry, oh, was looking at my health. Oh, I can't pet Let's my go. Shouldn't be running with a knife. Come on, Mister. You're about to hang my buddy, and you ain't done nothing wrong. You gotta help. What happened? I don't trust this guy. Oh, fine. Let's just try to see. This just in case, though. Come on. Come on. Okay, at least that was and he wasn't trying to bamboozle us. Just a little something for my trouble. Wait, is that a pig? Stop that, crazy mutt! In the animal. So the first rank of the map. Oh, nice. Oh, there, the dead body was right there. How about right here? Oh. Let's make this quick. Right, 
Let us go on to the doctor's office. Let me do this thing. Come on! Come back between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. Fine. Let's just go up then and try to get some food. Yo, what the fuck is that? Where was that coming from? That sounded too dark. Just go to bed. Let's jump. Oh, <laughs> here we go. You shall not give false testimony except for pro- Oh my god. <laughs> and I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to uh, see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> How are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy a hundred ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. He's so cute. Up, I like how man. they made him. Uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> to Ridgewood Farm! The sick and needy await us! Oh, the life of a wandering saver of souls! Oops. Wagon collision. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. 
And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttlebutt. You're as full of wind as a horse with a cup. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. It's the cross I bear as a pioneer in the fields of commerce and medical research. You seem to be mistaking me for an idiot. My tonic cures all known ailments, that I can guarantee you. But for the sake of argument, even if it didn't, surely there is still value in giving a person the belief they can feel better. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. And I can, John. A more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. They are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret that walking the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Also, Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the paying public. Marketing. Such as? <laughs> oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a sham. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Voyage camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future. You'd best be a man of your word. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Wasn't this the farm that... Oh. What did I just do? What just happened? Huh? Go to West Dick and show. What do you mean? Did he just kill a local and I was the one who got punished for it? <laughs> I think he ran over someone and then it made it restart. <laughs> That's so stupid! Ah, do not be timid! This tonic will restore your youth and rid you of aching bones! Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, Chola Springs! Gather round, gather round! Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could 
improve the qualities of its by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom like of the East good. keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's ah. right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Mm. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. But I'm... I already am a good shoot. It doesn't really... Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle. Granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My oh. friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. <laughs> but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Steady yourself, stranger. Kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. 
Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coots Chapel. He's Coots very Chapel. devout. Okay. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Oh! <laughs> Seth and Coots Chapel. Okie dokie, that seems intro. Oh, what's this? Alright. Okay, you guys. I will be. Horse breaking jobs are now available. Oh! That's nice. Wait, first of all, I want to go on ahead and save. There's my horsey. Oh. <laughs> Let's go! Oh wait, maybe I could just buy that place in the ranch. Come on! Howdy! Hello there. Oh, rent? Okay, fine, let's rent it out. Before you leave town. I feel sick. Save game. There we go. All right, you guys. Well, that ends today's episode. A lot happened, and that, I'm curious to meet the Seth person. I wonder what he has in store. But it seems like we're still at that part where oh, we're still at that part where um, we're getting familiar with the basic uh, skills and the things. You know, these aren't new. We already knew about this in Red Dead Redemption 2. But obviously, this was the first game before RDR2. So it's very. I'm still getting used to it, for sure. Anyway, as always, if you guys like this video, do give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.